It is time to get creative. Ruby Farias, artist and designer, is back on the show this morning. Good to see you again. Great to see you. And we are talking about painting silk scarves at home all by yourself. She's going to show us how to do it, so let's get started. Sure. Okay. Well, obviously you need the scarf. <laughs> we do need the scarf and a frame, uh -huh. and we've got to stretch it out. Okay. But and we you just put thumbtacks here. Yeah, I did. You can use nails. Okay. Actually, my husband created this frame. Oh, great. But um, there, you can buy them, too. Okay. But what I want you to do is, yeah, go ahead and take the brush mm -hmm. and uh, remove some of that water. Okay. And you can actually, here, let's come over here a little bit okay. and let's do some blue. And what kinds of paints are these? These are jacquard. These are specifically for silk and fabric. Okay. And uh, you want to go ahead and dip it and you, it's going to be really interesting. Okay. Once you start, you can dab in and you'll see it sort of stretch out. And let's go ahead and have okay. you start that line. So I'm going to see the, oh, the color does stretch out. So you don't even have to get so close to the, to the lines. Uh -huh. The lines are actually a product called Rets, uh, Resist. Okay. And um, you can add a little bit of water to that. So, so when you say the line is resist, it means that's how you drew it? The product. So that line okay. is resist, and there um, you can actually start making a design. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you just want to um, freehand it. Right. So this scarf here uh, has no lines at all, has no resist. So you can actually just do your own thing. Where do you find the products? I purchase my products online. Okay. I use a company called Dharma uh -huh. out of California. But you can purchase some of these things at a fab local fabric store. Okay. So what you're saying is you can use that uh, particular product, Resist, to draw something if you want to, mm -hmm. or you can have a little fun and do some freehand. Right. Okay. Exactly. And uh, so you'll see that some of, if you add water, mm -hmm. it's stretching out and lightening it. So you okay. have a contrast. Got it. And we it have that here as a well. Little, a little more creative, right? Right. And they even have uh, different salt crystals that you can actually throw right on top and it has bursts of color. Oh, that's really so nice. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do. So how long does it take you to actually do a design like this? You know, we can move really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, Clearly I can. <laughs> I can. <laughs> but uh, if you draw a design on paper, mm -hmm. uh, you absolutely can do that. And you can just stick it right under your silk mm -hmm. and um, copy it. Okay. Uh, so there's not a lot of prep time to this. It's just making sure you really. get the materials. Right. Okay. And then once you're finished with this, how long does it have to dry? I like to leave it on overnight uh -huh. because there is a process. And, and these types of um, paints, you can actually, it's easy. You don't have to be in a studio with big steamers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You can just use an iron and um, to set your color to the silk. Okay. And, um, and then you just wash it. Okay, so you wash it in cold water? Just with soap and water. Oh, okay. And uh, and then let it dry again, mm -hmm. and then iron it out, and we are good. So when you say let it dry, um, mm -hmm. how long does that usually take? Just a few hours, or would you need to yeah. leave it out for a day? I, I, I leave mine at least four hours. Mm -hmm. um, to be really sure, maybe uh, overnight, mm -hmm. eight hours, that kind of thing, okay. before you go on to your next set. And so then, when you're all done, you mm -hmm. can wear it kind of like this one. Look at this, how pretty that is. Uh, this one, Danielle believes, uh, is her, a portrait of her, just so you know. <laughs> Danielle, you look great on my shoulder. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. That was fun. Yes. Tell anytime. them where they can find you on the website. Uh, RubyFariousDesigns.com. There you go. Okay, we'll be back with more Arizona Daily Mix. Don't go away. Look how good she looks.